<laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> Guys, we're back. It's today's the day. Bad. Today's the day. The sun is shining. The tank is clean. The tank is clean. The tank is clean. <laughs> All right, guys. So today we're gonna be doing the giveaway. Beb, show them the spin thing. Show it to them. You can't really see it. We'll zoom in on that one. They're doing it. All these little names. Them? Yeah, they can't. They can see it. By the way, if you get that reference. Mm. If you get that reference, you just did. Leave a comment below. So if you did leave a comment with your cash app in the previous videos, I got them all. It's like 165 of you got them all. Beb, look here, don't look there. Okay, thank you. I do you. that all the time. Yes, I do. Uh, so we got your names, you're good to go. But first, everyone wanted a Q&A, so we're gonna do a Q&A with me and Sa. You so. You wait, watch the whole video, mm -hmm. and then you see who wins. No skips. You better not fast forward either. You skip. I'm we can see you. I'm we watching. can see you. <laughs> I got your IP address. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. All right, cameraman, <laughs> AKA Mr. Wallopolis. So, Will, what's the first question from one of our uh, new subscribers? All right, first question is from Blythe, Maine. Mm. Blythe, such Blythe. a unique name. Very okay, unique question. Like mine. Nice channel, I'm wondering how long does it take to film a video? Mm -hmm. Do you have preparations? What blogging kits Okay, well, that's the first question. Do you have preparations? All right. like, so this one's, for, for? this one's for me, I guess, uh, do most of the filming for us. Uh, nope, no preparations. I just carry around a little tripod with the camera. And this is probably the first video we prep for where we actually set up a, a light to our left. You can see a little ring light right there. Uh, we, we have our friends here right now. And so this is probably the most prep we've done for a video. Uh, just hang out. Mm -hmm. That's wise, yeah. Next question. And good lighting. Oh, and good lighting. The next question is from Maharlika396. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. What advice, tips you can give to all new YouTubers to reach milestone and gain views? Awesome, it's a good question. No other YouTubers, collaborate as much as you can. It's pretty much what I do. I just reach out to some other YouTubers here and there, even the small ones that have less than 50 subscribers, are just, hey, do you want to hang out and do something here and there? There's a few videos back where I met with uh, two other YouTubers and we just hung out and had lunch and we vlogged that. Um, other than that, just keep posting consistently. That's something I don't really do. I lag, I usually go like one, I might get three within a good week and a half and then I'll just go a month without posting. So you just gotta be able to do, be consistent. Next one is from Hervey J. If you guys could take a sibling trip no parents or other relatives or significant others, where would you go? A sibling trip? Yeah, like if you took- We're not siblings, by the way. This is my girlfriend, in case any of you are confused. Um, where would I go with all my siblings? Vegas, for me. Okay, Vegas? Yeah, have a supai. Have a supai. Will's answer is have a supai. What's a have a supai? I like answer, Will. What's a pie? Like just... It's a- it's like this it's place. It's not spelled pie, it's P A I. It's like this oasis pie. in the middle of the desert. It has a waterfalls and like this water that's. It's like hella majestic. Yes. That's crazy. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, just look we'll, it up. We'll, it's I'll in, put I think a picture right here. I think it's in Arizona. It's over our faces already, babe. They can't even see us. Have okay. pie. Yeah, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add it right here. Put a picture over Sauce's face for a moment, and that's where it's gonna be. That one's gone. Okay, the next question is from Lala. How did you guys meet and how long have y'all been together? She has two questions. Lastly, will you guys be changing the name and make it into a couple channel? Oh, well you can answer the first one. How did we meet? Yeah, how did we meet? How long have you met? How did you guys meet and how long have you been together? Okay, so we met like technically for the first time. Five, seven, seven years ago. I'm glad you keep track because I didn't Six, know. Six, seven years ago, ish. Yep. I tried getting at her on Instagram and she shot me down and then she said, get on out of here. Boy, you get, boy. <laughs> and then, so I got, I got to getting. And then I got, to getting. I got to getting and seven years later, five years later, whichever one it was, a long time, I saw this girl on Bumble, a dating app. Yep. Who does that? Who does that? Then I hit her up. I was like, hey, it's me, big strong Rob with these big old. Look how big that arm is compared to my head. It probably looks smaller on you guys, then I'm sorry for that, but I'll make it bigger. 
Um, yeah, so we hit it off again. Like we knew each other from a little thing we were already trying to, uh, we did like an insurance pyramid scheme one time together. It was not really good. PHP is a pyramid scheme, don't do it. No comment on that. No comment. Anyways, we did that and then we just started talking, went on our date. My very first date with Sa, William showed up. Oh my God. It was really awkward. We'll get it, more into that a little later. No, we should tell them right now. Tell them right now? We should tell them right now. Yeah, so we we met at the restaurant, the Italian restaurant, and um, he got there first. And then I walked up, and as I'm walking up, I see my brother like from the corner of my eye walking up too. I'm like, what is Will doing here? I'm like, this is like embarrassing, kind of. Anyway, he was door dashing. And yeah, they met on our first date. <laughs> so on my first date, I had a first date with Sa and a first date with Will. Yeah. That's why I love them both equally. But Ripley is my favorite. <laughs> You'll be <him> later. <laughs> All right, so the next question was, lastly, will you guys be changing the name to oh, make it a into couple a couple channel? So couples channel channels are a little more popular in my opinion, so that is the goal to convert this to our, our couple channel. And our name that I, can we tell the name that we kinda, kinda have going right here now? Not yet? Okay, so we'll just be to wait on that. You're gonna have to. Gonna have to wait, I guess. Suspense. But yeah, we might, we might try some. All next. right, next question is from Joan Lucero. How many children do you want to have? 10. Next question. 10 all at once? All at once, I want 10 tuplets. All at once. How do you say that? Anybody? No idea. Does anybody know? Uh, <laughs> Diaz. Diaz. No, we're kidding. Oh, oh my gosh. God, you in the background, take your phone somewhere else. <laughs> he ran. <laughs> uh, no, I want three. I want three kids, maximum four. Maybe adopt a fifth someday when I'm old. What about you? What do you want? I think three. Three, three is a good. Maybe four. Adopt three a is a good number. When she's old. Got it. Same. We're exactly. The same. Maybe two. So there's no middle child. You know? Because they tend to suffer. What if we lose one? What if one just gets runs away? We just that way if we have three. Or maybe four, we have a little plethora of them just in case they all just go missing. No? Okay, never mind. They all go missing, you're, you're bad parents. <laughs> just buy some we, new we don't deserve it. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. All right, next question is from Randy. I'm not going to say your last name because I might butcher it. Randy might butcher it. Got it. Nick. Why are you guys so interested in making videos on YouTube? What inspired you to do that? Thank you for your giveaway. I hope you can win. I hope I can, I can win. win. Actually, sorry, Randy. I'm actually removing you for that for uh, saying that. How dare you be so greedy? I'm just kidding. Um, I started doing videos because uh, us always, my cousin Bo, his wife Maria, it's a mouthful. She's actually the one that tells, "Hey, just start doing it." I told her I was a little interested, and she just like, "You need to do it. Use this camera. Go, 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 go. Just keep kind of going." So every time I saw her, she was like, "Cousin, have you posted a new video yet?" So uh, why aren't you recording kind of thing? So that's why I do it. I also do it for fun. It's a little fun, you know, edit here and there, do the challenges with the friends and family. And then I just dragged her into it. Yeah. She kind of like kicked me. She was kicking and screaming. She didn't want to do it. But now, uh, now we're here. Now we're making videos for fun, for moolah. There's no moolah. I'm obviously not making money yet. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. That's the goal. Next is from <laughs> Bernice. Salazar. Bernice. Bernice. Sounds so majestic. Sweaty right now. My question is more of what advice would you give on being more positive in life? Thank you, cameraman. You both seem so positive and so happy. I do. Oh, yeah. She's uh, She's really mean. Wow, Bernice. Okay. He's negative. I'm you super negative. You guys don't know the real <laughs> win. <laughs> Yo! As soon as the camera comes on, my alternate personality comes out. As soon as it turns off, I'm just like, Harp! oh, just kidding. Um, I don't know. I have ADHD, a little bit of ADD sprinkled in the mix. I can't keep my attention on anything more than like 20 seconds. So that's how I stay happy and positive and a lot um, of working out. Yeah, working out helps. Um, how to stay positive. 
I guess your thoughts, <laughs> your thoughts equal your attitude. So just um, watch your thoughts. I can. I'm lying if I say I'm always positive. Are you serious? It was delicious. Okay, I'm gonna stay positive right now. <laughs> No, you're saying right positive and you're over here. Are you serious? <laughs> you see? Yeah, you see? gonna bring me down? Cut that out. Cut that out right now. Bring me down. No. She's a liar. She's the mean one. Next question. You're all mean. No, this one. is what I have to deal with. Do you see this? <laughs> Got it. We're good. <laughs> Next. Next. Is from Clarissa Smith. Hello, Clarissa. Both of you explain what love means to you, oh. both separately and how that applies to your significant other. So you both have to answer separately, no cheating and thinking about it beforehand. Just answer and let it flow. All right, I'm gonna go outside for this one. Saw goes first, I'm gonna kick her outside. I'm gonna come back in. Go, Saw, go. First off, I wouldn't interrupt him like how he just did to me. <laughs> um, that's really deep and I'm not really good at answering questions on the spot like that, that deep, but uh, the way I, my love language is quality time. So the way I show love is spending time with people and the way I receive love is them spending time with me, like being present, all the way present with me. Um, and thoughtfulness. I see love as thoughtfulness. When you, you're thoughtful of what a person needs or you know what they like, stuff like that. And you show it. You show that they, you listen to them, and you show that uh, you know them. That's how I. That's how I see love. And that's how I try to show my love, not just to Robert, but to everybody that I love. And that's it. <laughs> okay, now I'll switch. Switch, Rooney. I'm gonna get a refill. All right. All right. So what she say? What was she lying about? All right. So love means to me. Words, uh, passion, and I love Saw. She's the greatest. I hate you, whoever answers this question. How dare you? It's Clarissa. Clarissa. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't know. Love is something you feel for someone when you love, love them. Is I'm sorry, babe. I hope you said like really romantic she stuff. She did. Damn it, really? She went in, bro. Damn, she went deep. You, you slipping, bro. I know, I'm slipping hard. I look. So, men have this thing where we don't talk about our feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Next. <laughs> back to back. Uh, it's from Ellie? Eli? Eli Mag? Mm hmm. How long have you guys been together? Oh. You can answer that. We're going on a year. It'll be October 1st. It will be our one year anniversary. I actually asked her to be my girlfriend in her parents' house. I got on one knee. It was time my shoe looked up at her and I was just like, would you be my girlfriend? No, I didn't do that at all. I just looked her in the face and said, hey, want to be this boo thing? That boo thing, my boo thing? No, whatever. <laughs> I just asked her, said, hey. Be my girlfriend. She's like, oh my god, yes, Rob. Yes. Next. JRC21. How do you both make up after a disagreement? Oh. You both are hilarious. JRC. Thank you. Laughing emoji. I know he means me. I'm more funny. Anyways. <laughs> how this is how this is how I make up. This is how we make up. Oh, I hear this. I tell her factual points. And I'm like, hey, this is a fact number one, fact number two, fact number three. You were acting like a real McCheesy Beezy. Get in line. <laughs> and <laughs> squared away. Done. Man, I put, I'm the man. I put my fist down. There's so many more layers to that. Yeah, a thousand layers. Yeah, see. I basically buy flowers and I grovel and I say, babe, don't leave me. Baby, come in. Maybe a tear or two. Blame it all on me. <laughs> Babe, how does that go for you when uh, we get into an argument? Um, I just try and talk about it, to be honest. And men don't talk about that. I try to say what's really bothering me, and I tell him, and 
I <laughs> just listen. get through it. I listen and communicate. You listen sometimes. I actually, actually, to be honest, I <laughs> we communicate very well. I like to, uh, when it comes to saw, I always address situations as soon as they start. I try to. I'm like, hey. He knows when I'm mad. Yeah, I know when she's mad. Her face goes from being normal to Gucci. And uh, there's dogs talking in the background. <laughs> um, but no, what, what happens is I just, I say, just tell me what I did. Tell, it's usually my fault. I was like, hey, let's talk about it. Let me hear your words. Let's let's communicate. And honestly, it's probably the best thing that helps that helps out with this is let's communicate. And if you're not communicating with the, your significant other, then you're just it's going to be rough. A lot of humor helps too. So next <laughs> is from Matt Milobar. Milobar. Matt, Matt Milobar. Hello, Question: Matthew. If you want to start a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. how would you get started? Mm. Mr. Millibar, buy a camera. Step one. Step two, have a best friend who already does it. That's me. Step three, have a best friend who already does it and his girlfriend help you. That's her. Boom. You don't even have to buy a camera. No, honestly, you don't. You can you use, your use, use your cell phones. Uh, start recording. Uh, free editing programs. If they're all online. Just type in literally free editing program. iPhones already have iMovie built into them. You just edit, cut, paste, and literally upload. It's super easy to start a YouTube channel. It's all about consistency, which I don't have. I don't do that often. And uh, friends that want to help or just do things with you. And just don't be weird about pulling out your camera and recording because everyone does it anyways. Everyone's already pulling their camera recording. You might as well pull your camera out and just record each other. That's how it goes. Mr. Millibar, you're an awesome man. I love you. Matt, you want to start a YouTube channel? Do it, Matt. Do it. Do it. Do it. Next, what is from uh, Priscilla? Priscilla Vane. V oh, Vane. These are good. Questions. My bad. My bad. Oh, these are the good uh, questions. I might have butchered your last name, but sorry, Priscilla. What are you guys' desires in this life? As in, would you guys want to start a business, have kids, and one piece of advice you would tell people that changed your life? Go. Okay. okay. What was the first one again? I thought you what guys were gonna you, ask like regular questions. Like how old am like, I? Like, yeah, like, like what's your favorite color like, and shit? Dang. Yeah, my favorite color is like black and blue and you guys are hitting some deep, deep questions. Like soul okay. searching the questions. The actual question is, first what question. are you guys What would the desires? last thing you would say in your dying deathbed? Is, <laughs> what are you guys desires in this life? Jesus. Fame, money, fortune, friendship, love. Boom! Next! I'm just kidding, hold on. Nah. <laughs> next you're really... <laughs> That's really good. I like that though. I like that. I'm gonna stick with my five. Beb, what are yours? Five, five, top five. I just want to be happy. Oh, I guess. Genuinely happy. I should have put that in mind. So I want to make. I guess that would consist of making enough money so I wouldn't have to worry about how much money like is going out and coming in. Mm-hmm. Which I'm not at that point yet. One day. One day. Okay, what happened? Um. And then she says, uh, as in, would you guys want to start a business, have kids? Yes. And one piece of advice you would tell people that changed Those their life. Those dogs are barking. Uh, it's okay, Marty. I would okay. definitely want to start a business. I'm, I don't know what yet. Go get him, Ripley. Fight those dogs. <laughs> He's just going outside and fight the dogs. He's such a dad. I know. Ripley's so awesome. Awesome dad. I wouldn't know what kind of business yet, but I know that's like the only way to get out of like the rat race. When we were raised in a, I was raised in a house that my dad always jammed that into our head. You have to have your own business someday. You can use a job. I mean, you can have a job, but get a job to one day get out of that rat race. So, you know, YouTube is a way. So maybe that would be our way. So I actually used to have a t-shirt design business. This is like, like she sold t-shirts, designs, yeah. paintings. And uh, what was the name of it? No, actually, don't tell him because someone might try to steal it. Someone did steal someone it. Did steal actually, name. someone ripped me off so and beat that, me to the trade. That might be something we, that she might start over again. I do yeah. plan on, you know, I'm in real estate already as it is. I haven't told anyone about that. I do real estate, I do private and personal security for people um, and for companies. So that's what I do. And, you know, business aspect that might come later. Um, but thank you for your question. Priscilla? Was it Priscilla? Was yeah. Bit, was and one piece of advice you would tell people that changed your life. Oh, um... Hmm. Being late doesn't always mean you're a bad person. No, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Because I've been late. I'm late all the time. Me too. Um... 
Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Do you, boo-boo. Yeah. Do what makes you happy. Hey, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. You have to listen to yourself. Period. Period. With a T. With a T. Period. Next. It's from Marie. Mary. <clears throat> Mary. Name something you love and dislike of each other. Saw, name an embarrassing moment Robert has put you in. Laughing. Okay, uh, I'll start with the second question. Embarrassing moment. Uh, he smacks my butt in front of my brothers. <laughs> Sometimes and it's embarrassing. Bro, yeah, it but is. they're probably used to it by Shut this time. Up. First off, that's not embarrassing. Yes, she it puts is. it right in my face. I just got a beatbox on it. <laughs> kind of thing. Anyways, something I love about Saw, I love her look. And dislike. And dislike. Oh, your hair got in my eye. It's like a self your eye got self in my defense hair. mechanism. Actually, you guys all we caught that on camera. Nope. My hair I'm was just edit chilling that out. here. I'm my editing hair it was out. Just nope. chilling here. Yep. Are you okay? Yep, I'm good. You're so you're so mean. Next question. Now you have to say something that you oh, like yeah. and dislike. What do you about like Robert? and dislike about me? I like how affectionate. Right there, you're affectionate and sweet. Thank you. I'm very unsweet. Sweet and affectionate. Sweet and affectionate? What a little kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you dislike about him? Yeah, what do you dislike about me? I don't like your attitude sometimes. Okay, yep, attitudes. Yeah. Apparently, we have attitudes. Keeping it real today. Keeping it real. We're trying to fight each other, apparently. After this, we're going to have the Robin Saw boxing match. Let's start right now. Let! <laughs> Broke the couch. All right, thank you, Mary. Next, this from Valerie. Valerie. Valeria. Yeah. Valerie. Sanchez. Valeria Sanchez. Do you plan on making an intro video? Oh. Uh, I do plan on making an intro video. I just struggle with the, you know the collaboration of not collaboration, the little montage aspect of it. Um, the song also, the song can't be monetized, so I have to get an unlicensed song, a good beat to go with it. So there is going to be an intro video eventually. There might be something at the beginning of this, just some just a, a two second filler. I don't know. I do plan on it though. Yes, that is coming soon. Thank you, Valeria. Mary again. Hello. Have any kids? What? Want kids? Where do you live? Have any pets? Who is more jealous? We'll just answer that one. Who's okay. more jealous? Because all, I mean, or well, have any kids. I mean, have any pets. We don't have any kids. I don't have any kids. She has no kids. We have pets. I have pets. She has no pets. She's actually allergic to dogs. I have two German Shepherds, Loki and Lilith. Picture, picture. And, um. It's Resmi's mom, actually. Mm -hmm. What's uh, y'all's birthday sign for Lango? I'm a Scorpio. And? I'm a Pisces. Boom. Okay. And now this is from JQ Sill. Mr. Berlanga, do you invest in Terra Luna? Oh, that's my buddy Joaquin. He's just picking on me. Shut up, Joaquin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Terra Luna is. It's probably a cryptocurrency. I miss you, bro. Thanks for commenting. Stay strong. What other language you guys speak? Uh, I don't speak any other language besides English. I actually do know American Sign Language. Very little. And very little Spanish can I understand. What about you? I, I only speak English. I can speak Samoan. Like, like if you just ask me what something means, I can tell you. But I can't carry a conversation in Samoan. That's what I am, by the way. Samoan. Yeah, she's a silly, slappy Samoan. I don't know where he gets that from, but yeah. Okay, next. What kind of music do you like? Uh, anything. I can literally play from country to hard rock. I like... I like rap, R&B, hip-hop, 90s music, 1000 music, 1000s music. I said musics, 90s musics. Um, what else? I like a lot of, I know everybody says that, I, I listen to everything, but I kind of do. Next. Honestly. Next question. Who cooks more and the best? And the best. Next. Saw, so, is Robert disorganized? I don't know what that means. Like, you mean like mentally or like, <laughs> what? I don't know what you mean because I, I hear that word all the time. Working yes, work. I am disorganized mentally 
Yes, I am disorganized at home, but I know where everything is, mentally and at home. So in your mind, you're organized. Yeah. <laughs> Next. I even still don't know why. just said he's disorganized. Oops. Next is from Mrs. E. What is the best and worst YouTube comment you have received? Oh, for you, all the way you know, I have gotten one that just said you suck. And then, that's it? Yeah, well, it hurts. It still hurts a lot. No, but that's all it said. No, it said like, you suck, stop trying to be like someone else. And it was just kind of hurtful. I immediately deleted it and cried for a few hours. But you know, I, there's always gonna be a hater out there. I guarantee you I'm bigger, stronger, faster than him. I'm way better look good looking. And uh, sucks to be you, bro. Or chick, whoever you are. Damn right. Next is from Jerome. I'm not pronouncing your, I'm trying to pronounce your Sorry, last name. Sorry, Jerome. What's your proudest accomplishment? Oh, proudest. Oh my gosh. What's your You're killing me. I know, these are some deep questions. So my biggest accomplishment would be, I mean, it's not a super, I have like two. So I have saved my buddy's life in Afghanistan. That's two dudes I saved at one time. Uh, that's a pretty big one. Big, I'm saving lives. Um. Uh, I'd say getting through my 20s. I'm about to be through my 20s, make it to 30. I'd say that's a pretty big accomplishment, to She's be honest. not addicted to drugs. Still alive. I'm not addicted to drugs. I'm not addicted to anything. Uh, but sometimes food, to be fucking completely honest. Uh, my biggest fear is that my parents die and I don't accomplish what I'm supposed to accomplish for them. That I want to accomplish for them. That's deep. I was just gonna say open, open ocean water. You're just like, and darkness. I hate the dark. <laughs> oh, yeah, mine's just open ocean water. Anything with deep water that I can't see the bottom of alligators, That's sharks. Big fear. Yeah, it's called thoracophobia. Don't for me, bro. Thoracophobia, aka that assophobia. Next, Jaya Cortez. Got it. <coughs> he has two questions. What is the best part of being in a relationship? Go. Hmm. You have a built-in best friend. I mean, built-in babe? Well, yeah, because you have to have, if you're dating someone and they're not your best friend, it's not gonna be well. Like, she is my best, like, someone tells me something, like, don't tell no one. You mean? Don't tell no one. Don't tell no one except <laughs> your girlfriend. That, that's, what, that's what I do. <clears throat> Like Will told me one time he ate a kangaroo stick, and I was like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Either. Exactly. I'm gonna tell your sister though. Jeez. Did you get me one? No, you didn't. He's just opened it brand new. I want a mango one though, so we'll get it later. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Like I forgot what the question was, but it knew it had to do with what is the best part of being in a relationship. Oh, that's right. Built-in best friend. Having somebody to be, you know, with. It's just some. You're with somebody. You're not lonely. No, there's a lot of good things about being in a relationship. What is your biggest dream in life? Mm. Go. Another deep one. I know. <laughs> um, my biggest dream in life would be to be completely financially, uh, what's it called? Like yeah. free. Just, just be free. Then you can do whatever you want. But even when you are free, just to can to have the drive to keep going to do stuff. Because uh, you could you could be like a retired person and get money monthly, and then still just be bored out of your mind and getting a part time job. Just to have the mind and the will to do things, the motivation to keep going. Uh, I would say the same thing, plus uh, not having to be validated by anybody and just uh, be happy with who you are deeply and I need, genuinely. I need validation. Please leave comments. Tell me my hair looks good. Thank you. Bet your hair looks fantastic. Thank you. She has like beach hair vibe. I know, she has like beachy hair vibe. It's all like, someone get like a blow a fan in her face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Next. It's from Mary, again. Favorite movie? Oh, oh that's a hard one. When I was a child, it was Homeward Bound. I'd watch Wait, Homeward Bound too. Favorite movie when kids? Name oh, yeah, how so many you want. Kid. Name how, how many you want. Like what age? Are the kids? Doesn't matter. Homeward Bound two. I watched like 150 times at my grandma's house, nonstop.
cried every time Shadow came over the mountain. No, it was Homeward Bound 1. Then it became Homeward Bound 2. Shadow's chance is right there. He's all talking to the little cat. Uh, I forgot the cat's name. But they're like, oh my god, he didn't make it. Shadow, no! And then Shadow comes cresting over the mountain like, I made it, little oh Billy. I made it. I cry every time. Okay, uh, as a kid? Bambi, when the mom died. As a kid? Mm. No. I'm just kidding. Freaking Little Mermaid. No. No? How many really loved William, Tarzan. what movie did she watch as a I really kid? I loved Tarzan. Shrek. You watch? And Shrek too. Oh, Shrek I 2 Shrek or Shrek? Shrek? Shrek. Number three, my lord. Number three. I quote Shrek. <laughs> Is that from Shrek? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Salutis. Alright. Shrek. Okay, next question. <laughs> Favorite TV show when kids? Um, Dragon Ball Z. Quick. TV show. I would say freaking that 70s show, bro. What? As a kid? Not a kid kid, but like... No. Dragon Ball Z up until like I'm the... I watched all of the new super series. I'm an adult and I still love that show. Still be trying to power up and do the Kamehameha wave. Oh, I'm the type of person you ask me what what's my favorite color. I'm like for what though? Yeah, for what? So <laughs> what are we talking about? That's too that's deep. Are we talking about? This is what you guys are doing to me right now. Like I'm like what favorite show? What? I don't know. Buttercream, buttercream. All right. What mood am I in? <laughs> there you go. But this is when you're a kid. When you're actually a kid, what were you watching as a kid? I watched a lot of D that '70s show. Like a kid, sure. kid. A kid, kid. Like Lizzie ten. McGuire. Ten. There you go. I ten and under. Lizzie Next McGuire. question. Oh, and uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, life is unfair. Anything you want to share with us? Oh, that hasn't already been asked before. I think I remember yeah. this question. I can just go to Olive Garden and just get the the breadsticks and a like a little trough of Alfredo dipping sauce. And that's it. I'd be so happy long. with that. I don't want any other food. Just give me bread and your Alfredo sauce. I'll eat like three of those. We can just leave. That's what I want to share with you. Next question. This is the, uh, there's two more questions. Two more questions. And then we get to DMJ choose. Kitchen. Got it. Uh, congratulations, you guys. Who is the famous YouTuber do you guys want to collaborate with oh. and why? So if we got to pick any YouTuber to collaborate with, who would it be? Okay, yeah. What if you Badwood? Badwood, if you watch this, she buys all your stuff. Mine would either be Hodge Twins. I'm wearing oh, them. Oh, that's Yeah, that's Hodge, Hodge Twins, twins. definitely. Yeah. Look at these big old guns, Hodge Twins. You gotta meet this guy. I rock your gear, she bought it for me, I rock it. All right, come on. So, um, yeah, the Hodge Twins. What's your favorite indoor, outdoor activity? Oh. Indoor, mm -hmm. outdoor. It's definitely not rock climbing. If you watched our previous <laughs> videos, I am not good at that at all. Is that considered outdoor? Or it's indoor? indoor. Indoor, outdoor. It's actually both. Rock climbing, indoor, outdoor. You guys did it indoor though. Yeah, either way. I hate both. both. Outside's scarier. You could die. Inside, you could probably get hurt. But still, it's pregnant ankle. Indoor, the gym. Oh, I do love going to the gym daily. Not daily. I go like four times a week now. Damn, I stepped that up. Me too. I also like the gym. But my favorite is probably Netflix and chill. The actual Netflix and chill. Oh my God, pervert! I didn't say I didn't say anything. Your brother's Outdoor. right there. I'm just saying they're they're Your thinking. Your brother's right there. They're thinking it though. I like that Please, one you, too. All right, you Outdoor, out, outdoor now. Outdoor, He's so outdoor. Angry. Hiking. I like to hike. You know, I want to play a good game. I can never do it anymore. Oh yeah, that's. I wish you had an active boyfriend who did outside hiking. I would like to play a good game of like paintball or catch, not catch football, flag football. I would love to do that again. I haven't played paintball in a good 10 years. I would love to do that. Um, so that's like what I would do. Tennis. tennis too. I don't good at tennis. My brother's good at it, but not me. All right, guys. So now we're going to cut straight to the chase. We're going to click this button. Three winners. Each of you will be getting $100 a piece. I've decided that's how we're going to break it down instead of one winner. I mean, I mean, there's like 300 of you and 160 of you, and I feel bad if only one winner got it. And I'll be doing the payouts the day of the drop. That's how we're gonna do it. Ready, Ben? Mm -hmm. You ready for this? <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Who's gonna be Ben? Read it out loud when it comes. Dun dun dun. dun. Jessica. Oh my. Oh God. my God. Come on!
That's bull. All right. Jessica won. Yes. All right. So the next one. So Jessica, you won. Jessica saw his friend. I. That's all we know her as. We gotta pay her in cash. I'm gonna remove her. Huh? The next one. Here we go. It's starting to go, guys. She deserves it. She is on there because she watched the video and commented. Next one's gonna be. Christine. Christine F18. I'll be dropping you the cash. All right, I'm gonna remove you, Christine. You're out. There we go. Come on. I put my name in here too. If I get it, I get all the money back. That's the rule. I just made it up right now. It's mine. And. Maribel. Maribel 22. Woohoo! I'm gonna keep this up. All right, guys. So those are the winners. Those are the three winners. And Sauce Friend won, which is nice, I guess, for her. My friends are on there too, but they didn't win. Um, we're gonna keep this wheel up. And I want to do a, a a reoccurring giveaway, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start selecting from this every time. So these 160, that's always the 160 that are left. We're gonna continuously give away throughout the next videos. I might even just do um, gift cards to Starbucks, something like that, something a little smaller throughout our next videos, and then we'll do a bigger giveaway when I reach 2,000, 3,000, so on, so on. So you guys are still in the drawing for the future stuff. So I expect some activity from you. But uh, thank you for being with us here today. We enjoyed your, your guys' time. Hopefully, you know, congratulations to the winners. Uh, but uh, thanks for being with us, guys. And until next time on Dragon Ball Z. So don't forget to leave comments below of what you would like to see from us, you know, of our future videos, along with, um, I went brain dead. Oh. What you'd like to see us vlog, or yeah. what do you like to see in the videos? Also below are links. You can follow us on Instagram. Uh, both of our links are there. We'll add Will's new Instagram. It got hacked, but we'll put his new in. He's outside with his shirt off already. Oh my God. Tell him he's done. He just runs outside, takes off his shirt. Yeah, so follow us below. <laughs> uh, leave comments, subscribe, keep it up guys. We love you very much and we'll see you next time. Give me a little kiss. <laughs>